Hey guys. <sighs> Coffee all day is magic. Okay, so I know I look a little weird um, and that's because I already have actually put my foundation on so that's why I look white as a ghost and like sickly around my eyeballs. Um, I don't have any um, concealer on yet and that is because I thought I would unbox the Jeffree Star concealer um, with you guys and then kind of do like a review about that. And while I'm here doing Jeffree Star products, I am gonna do an eye look with the Thirsty palette. I know it's not new, I know it's not the Blue Blood palette, but it's a great palette for summer. It's like my go-to, honestly, during this time of year um, because the colors are like bright. And to be honest, I'm like a bright girl. Like, I love doing crazy eye looks. I love when like I go out and people are like, is she okay? Because my eyes are just like crazy pants. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So, opening up the package. Yes, Mom. Just kidding. Okay. A lot of tissue, Jeffrey. Here is the packaging. So, it's really cute. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen like a thousand reviews on this by now. I know I'm not new to the game. Um, you know, do we expect anything less than like really cute packaging by now from him? No. So I am shade C6. Um, let me open this up. I did it. Okay, this is the cutesy little thing. Very Sailor Moon, very cute. I mean, it's like the most expensive looking concealer I've ever had. I mean, when you compare it to like, I don't know, shape tape, there's no comparison you guys. All right, so if you're a packaging whore like me, you're gonna buy something just because it looks like this, um, which is mainly did. I was not gonna buy this because I was like, I don't need full coverage concealer. Um, I don't need another concealer because I have about 50, but here we are, okay? You feel me, I know you do because you're makeup obsessed just like me or you wouldn't be watching this. All right, so I am just gonna go ahead and get right into testing this out. Okay, let's go. Now he said a little goes a long way and it's got like one of those really nice doe foot applicators, which like I appreciate and stuff. It's like a little bit tilted. So I'm not going to put like tons on. I don't like wearing a lot of concealer because it'll end up moving under my eyes and I just don't need it yet at my age. Um, but you know, enough talking, Jenna. I'm just going to do it. Okay, so, you know, I tend to go for a concealer that is like brightening under the eyes um, because that's what I like. I like the look when my eyes are a little bit brighter underneath. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Um, my beauty blender is super gross looking, so don't judge too hard, all right? See, gross, but effective. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Yep, so it's it's blending out really easy. It feels really lightweight. I don't feel like I do when I put on, for example, the It Cosmetics concealer, which is also full coverage. This one, the Bye Bye Under Eyes. Um, that one tends to feel really sticky, really tacky. This is like really lightweight. You know, I will say that they're right on saying that because I was pretty skeptical when I was watching Jeffrey do the review because obviously it's his product. So of course he's gonna say it's amazing, right? And that other guy that he had with him, um, Gabriel so you know it is really lightweight it's blending in super easy like I'm actually really surprised how easy it's blending in um, I tend to get blue circles under my eyes um, and you know if this wasn't a first impressions of a product I would have maybe put some color corrector like red color corrector under my eyes just a little little bit um, so if you see any blue peeking through which I even don't so I don't know what I'm talking about but if you did um, that would be why up close, I don't know if you guys can tell, um, it is sort of emphasizing a little bit of texture. Let me see if I can dim my light for you to see. Like a little bit of texture like here and here. Um, I have like, I'm, I'm combination skin and under my eyes I get pretty oily. Um, so 
it is kind of emphasizing that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dip in again. How dare she? She's not listening to what Jeffrey says. I'm just gonna put a little bit more there and here where some of that texture is coming through just to see if I can get a little bit more coverage for myself. Okay, okay, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Can you guys actually blend with your beauty blender without opening your mouth? Is that possible for anyone? I gotta go like this and I feel like a loser. But it's very hard to do it without doing that. <laughs> okay, I think that looks like a lot better. I like how it's coming off in the camera. Um, it's giving me that brightening effect under my eyes that I love. It's making me look awake. It's covering my circles. Um, I might spend some time like blending it up a little bit more. But so far, I honestly can't even feel it under my eyes, which I love. Um, because like, like I said, that It Cosmetics under eyes, it's great. I do wear it. I do love it but I can feel it when I put it on. It's very tacky, very thick um, formula. Whereas this, it seems to be full coverage, but you can't feel it. It's very similar feeling to the Shape Tape, which is great, um, especially because I think they're around the same price. Um, like it's definitely not a cheap concealer by any means. And I'm well aware of that, you guys, because I spend my own hard coin on this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bake my under eyes, um, put fat, some powder blah, blah, on my face, and then um, come back and we'll do the eyeball. I'm back. So I need to look a little more normal. Um, if you guys are wondering, I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I always try other foundations. As you've seen, I did the Beauty Blender, um, which I liked for a while, and then I started to hate it. Um, and that's kind of what seems to consistently happen with foundations and me. At first when I put it on, I really like it. And then, you know, as I see it wear through the day, it just kind of almost cracks on my skin or separates on my skin. And this HD foundation honestly doesn't. I've worn this for years. I always come back to this. It's my OG for a reason. Um, so I'm shade Y235 in that. If anyone wants to try it, highly recommend it. It also doesn't have flashback. So if you're getting married, that's your foundation. Um, but don't use the HD powder from them because you will get flashback for that. Um, and then of course I use the Fenty um, bronzer, which I did a review on as well. So you can go ahead and watch that if you want. Um, and let's go ahead and start my eyeballs. So as you can see, it's got like a really bright color story. You have a lot of options to choose from. You have a whole row of metallics, which I love. Um, and then you've got these great brights. I think kind of what I want to do today is start with one of these potentially in my crease Just blend that out and then um, I don't usually plan things out I just kind of like go with what I feel so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do today if I look like a popsicle I look like a popsicle and it's springtime. I Can look like a popsicle if I want okay so let me grab a brush this is literally just like a color pop brush it doesn't have a number it's a brush for Memphis okay um, let me, okay I'm gonna go in I think with kumquat one because I love the word kumquat also because I love the shade so profesh ew why did I just say profesh that's gross Okay, so I'm just going to start it in my crease. I use a really light hand in my crease, which as you can tell with this shade, um, it's a good thing I'm being light handed because it like literally so pigmented. Like I'm really gonna need to sort of blend this out. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just grab one of my more dense brushes that's kind of for just blending out and feathering if you want to be professional feathering out my um crease a little bit and what that means is I don't know if you've noticed but when you do your crease you can get like a sharp line um so you really want to feather that out just make it kind of at the top here just really kind of blend out I know that I've gotten some color up here don't worry I put stuff there at the end so whatever 
we're just wanting to feather this out to make it blend a little bit more seamlessly. Like that. Okay, so I think I want to do this color kind of like all over, you know, like I said, like I like bright. I'm sorry I keep looking in my viewfinder. Whatever, it happens. Um, I think I want to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe a combination of bitch and taste buds. Actually, it's bitch if you want to get accurate. Bitch. Okay, so I'm going to do a combination of these two on my outer corner. Um, and then I'm going to put splash on majority of my lid. And then maybe I'll put quench in the inner corner just to make it like really summery. So let's do it. I'm going to use the Morphe M210 brush to pack on, well, to pack on each of these individually, but right now to do taste buds and bitch combo. I'm going to be a little bit more heavy with taste buds than bitch because bitch is quite a like orange shade, as you can see. Um, and this splash is already so bright that I don't want too much brightness in my outer corner. I want it to just kind of like look halfway normal. So... A little bit of taste buds, a dash of bitch. Oh my God, it's me, a dash of bitch. All right, and we're just gonna put this outer corner. I kind of create like a V, a sideways V when I do my outer corner. Um, yeah, I don't really know how else to explain that. Um, so I don't know if you've, you guys have tried Jeffree Star's uh formulas before for his eyeshadows they are great they just honestly keep getting better i know you probably think that i'm just saying that or if it's overhyped but why would i just say that right i have nothing to no reason to just say that they honestly are some of the best shadows i've used um i didn't buy blue blood only because i don't know if i need a whole entire palette of blues um, but the more that I see Blue Blood, like people trying it and stuff, I find myself wanting it. When initially I just didn't really care for it. I didn't really care for a whole thing of blues. I do have blood sugar. Um, let me show you. I do have blood sugar and I do love blood sugar, but that's because I have hazel eyes and all of those colors are really nice for hazel eyes that are in blood sugar. Um, if you don't know, you know, pinks, purples are really great for hazel or green eyes, they make your eyes pop. So blues, I'm a little bit concerned, um, but watch me next video be having the blue blood. Anyways, so now that, you know, I've done pretty all right with this, I'm just gonna calm that corner down a bit. Okay, um, I'm gonna go in with splash and let's see. Don't need a lot of product. Ooh, you see that? Dusty. All right, and let's just put it all over. Now, I normally do use, um, for my base for shadow, I use the ColourPop foundation. Um, I do have the MAC Paint Pot, but to be honest, I hate it. Um, I don't see how all these beauty gurus like promote MAC Paint Pot saying it's like amazing for your lids because it makes my shadows crease. Whereas if I use the ColourPop concealer, my shadows don't crease at all. So little tidbit for you. Today I didn't put any on because I wanted to give you like a realistic look of what these shadows look like without any base. Um, because I know some people hate base. Some people think base is a scam, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not using any base for this today. So if you are using a base, what I find is I do have to go over colors, but this is without having to go over it. Um, it's very pigmented as you can tell, but not as loud as I want it. Um, like I said, I like loud. So I'm just gonna go over that color a couple times just to build it up um, since I don't have the base there to kind of help build it up for me. Um, and as you see, I'm using more of a packing motion than I am a spreading motion. I highly recommend that when you put any shadow on not to swipe it across, but to maybe do a combination of swiping and patting, just because you're kind of packing that powder into your eyeball, as opposed to um, swiping it across and then not really having as much control over where that powder is really being placed, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm really liking the look of this. Oh, I love a bright eye, guys. 
I know it looks crazy, just bear with me for a second, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with Quench. I have made up my mind. I want that yellow pop next to this. I'm like gonna look like a spring flower, a spring tulip. Easter has already happened and passed, but do I care? No. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Morphe 506. Um, I like this for inner corner and under eyes. It's perfect for your under eyes um, because I don't know if you can tell, but this is like a longer um, brush. So the bristles are longer so that it, it really kind of allows you to lay it on loosely. So I um, love it for that. Anyways, we're gonna go in with Quench. Really gonna kind of pack that on there. Of course, dust the excess off and we are just going to pack in place here again because I don't have that base I'm like a base believer guys an eyeshadow base believer so when I don't have it I do notice that my shadows aren't as bright um you know like this yellow like when I have a base on honestly like pops like cray ew cray why did I say that I'm not a Kardashian um so I'm just gonna pack this on a little bit I'm gonna start to look like rainbow bright um, but that's okay. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm also going to place like a little bit of sparkle there, um, from this. So I'm going to blend that in with the yellow. I'm going to take a little bit more of splash just to blend it in together, which creates like this nice little like rainbowy effect, um, which is great. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, hmm, I'm gonna take Divine, and I'm just gonna take a little bit, as you can tell, it's like my most used of the metallics, and I'm just gonna place it right in the inner corner just to give a little bit more pop. Very subtle pop. Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my other eye. Cool, so I've got my other eye done, my full face completely finished now, filled in my brows, um, put a little highlight on, which is also um, Jeffree Star Bam. It is Peach Goddess Skin Frost. Um, it's my go-to, it's my fave, look at it. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Um, so I ended up also putting um, Bitch under my eyes. Um, and then of course, for my wing, I used the too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner, which I've done a review on. Um, go ahead and watch it. Um, I compared that with the Benefit Roller Liner, so definitely a video to watch. Um, yeah, so I guess my final review for now, I am gonna, you know, probably in the next video tell you how I feel like it wore through the day, but just kind of looking at the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer, how it's holding up, you know, now that it's been about 30 minutes, 45 minutes since I put it on, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know that's not the best review, but to be honest, it is kind of emphasizing the really, really fine like paper lines under your eyes, which I don't have unless a formula dries them out. Like I don't naturally have tons of lines under my eyes. So I'm not sure if it's just the powder I used or if it's the formula itself. Um, you know, I'm gonna test this out a couple more days see how it wears, but I loved how it went on. It went on really smooth, really wasn't heavy feeling, which like I obviously love. I've spoken about it multiple times in this video. Um, it was, you know, true one swipe application. I added a bit more just to kind of help with my texturing issue. Um, but so far, you know, it is it is holding up. It's settled a little bit into my fine line. Like I'm not sure if I turn this down, if you can see. Like see, it's kind of settling into this line here. Um, which is kind of annoying, you know, I'm gonna be honest because you guys are, are like me, I'm not a beauty guru, I wear um, concealer like majority of the world wears it, meaning I don't have like all the tips and the tricks and the techniques or the perfect skin because I've paid all the money for it, no shade, I'm just saying, like it's, this is just realistically how it's gonna wear on someone, um, so it is falling into that pretty heavily, which I hate, um, you know, shape tape doesn't do that on me, so take that as you want um yeah I'm not I'm not sure I'm honestly not sure like it went on really well it's not the worst thing it isn't showing my under eyes like if I dip it even dim it down like it's really doing a good job of covering 
um, the discoloration under my eyes and um, the application looks great. Um, it's just me being really picky in where I see it settling. That's it. Um, other than that, I loved like putting it on. I love the packaging, all of that stuff. I'm just going to simply have to see how it wears through the day and a couple days, you know, I'm going to play around with the different pa different powders and stuff um, to see which one works best with this formula. Um, and so also this is my finished look with the eyes. Um, I did, like I said, a very colorful, like rainbow bright is here, summer is here type of look. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. You guys know the drill. You watch enough YouTube videos to know. I'm so happy to have you here. I have so much fun doing this. Um, and I will see you guys next video. Bye.